Hi everyone, it's Paul, W2PAK. Today we're going to answer a question that many ICOM 7610 owners have. How do you connect a dynamic microphone to the transceiver? The stock microphone requires phantom power. Most dynamic microphones do not. Today we're going to look at a step-by-step -step approach to how to connect your dynamic microphone to the ICOM 7610. Let's see how it's done. We're back in the shack again. I regularly get good reports about my audio over the air. We're going to look how I connected my ICOM 7610 to my Shure MV7 Plus. So this is the basic setup. I have a Shure M7 right here, microphone. And by the way, I'll put descriptions and, and links to all of this equipment in uh, the description. It's sitting on an Inrad DMS-1 microphone base. As you can see, there's a push to talk. You can lock the push to talk if you would like. On the back, there are two cables. One goes to the microphone, and this cable comes with the Inrad DMS-1. And the other cable I bought specifically for the ICOM 7610, and it connects to the regular microphone jack on uh, the ICOM 7610. So on the ICOM 7610, it's very easy to eliminate the bias on the microphone pin. You press Menu and go to Set. Then you press Connectors and you scroll down until you get to Microphone Input DC Bias and you can turn it on or off. Mine is off because I'm using my dynamic microphone. And that's it. You're all set. On a side note, if you would like to duplicate my exact setup, what you can do is press quick, drive gain, and those are my settings. So microphone gain is 100%. I do not need a preamplifier with that setting. My drive gain is 70%, and I use a compression level of between 6 and 8. Uh, you can set the TBW, which is basically the width between narrow, wide, and mid. I usually keep it at mid. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please comment below. 73 is my friends.